sound wonderful. Do you remember some of the adventures that we've taken already this month? Well, our first week we said hello to Judah, our explorer, and Judah helped us hike up to the Northern Lights and we remembered some pretty cool things like we can worship by putting our hope in God. Do you remember that one? Now last week was pretty silly when Yeti came to visit us and Yeti, oh man, was not prepared for the hike up to Mount Everest, another awesome place that God has created. And we learned that we can worship by asking for God's help, right? Sometimes we might not always know what that looks like or it might not be the easiest choice that we can make, but it's always the best one. This week we've got a new story. And in fact, remembering that all these things that we've talked about is really important because remembering what God has done, man, it just makes me want to worship. And that's exactly what we're going to be talking about today. So, you know, since we're already in the mood of worship, we've been talking about it for the last couple of weeks, let's get started with some worship music, and then we're going to switch over to a little game, and then we'll introduce you to our explorer this week. Yo, 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 what's up, party people? This is DJ Praise C, and we're gonna have some fun. So let me see your move. Moving to the beat with my groove and beat. That's right. Moving to the beat with my groove and beat. I said, now moving to the beat.
Okay, here's your next picture. Now this looks like a person, but it's actually gonna be a parent in our, in our little game here. So what do you think this might, this might be used for? Okay, your next item. A cell phone. And our last thing is Google. Yeah, there are so many things for us to keep track of every single day. I mean, the chores that you might have to do, the places you might have to go, how long it takes you to get from place to place, what you might need to wear from place to place, all the different meals and snacks and energy you're gonna need to get your body through those long days. It's a good thing that there are things out there that we can use to help us remember what matters most. the rabbit and I love to explore. Sometimes though my grand adventures turn out well not so grand but that doesn't stop me from taking on all the wonders of this big wonder filled world and speaking of grand adventures I would love to tell you about one of my recent trips. Hmm, do you know where Arizona is? in an area of the United States. <gasps> there it is! I found it! I flew out to Arizona to take on the Grand Canyon. I was gonna fulfill my lifelong dream of becoming a junior ranger. But about a mile down, it was so hot. Uh, I was so tired. I hadn't really trained like I should have. So I did what I always do. I ate my favorite snack. And I read from the best adventure book that I have, my Bible. I turned right into the middle where I found Psalm 103. Some people believe that this particular song, Psalm, which is kind of like a song, or like a poem, was written in David's later years when he was a little bit older. In, uh, in his old age, maybe David was looking back at the strength of God and he remembered everything that God had done for him during his life and even during the lives of the people before David. It's like David's brain was this collection of uh, things that had happened to him. But he also had these memories of things that happened to other people way before him. Through the telling of these stories found in the Bible, they were able to keep alive a very important memory of God. But this is how David described it in Psalm 103, verses 1 through 8. That wasn't an 8, that was a 2. <clears throat> Let all that I am praise the Lord with my whole heart. I will praise his holy name. Let all that I am praise the Lord. May I never forget the good things that he does for me. He forgives all of my sins and heals all my diseases. He redeems me from death and crowns me with love and tender mercies. He fills my life with good things. My youth is renewed like an eagle's. The Lord gives righteousness and justice to all who are treated unfairly. He revealed his character to Moses and his deeds to the people of Israel. The Lord is compassionate and merciful and he's slow to get angry and he's filled with unfailing love. Ooh, yay, wow. It sounds like David had been through a lot though. I mean like some tough times, kind of like my journey through the Grand Canyon. <sighs> it's kind of like the pits. What kind of pits was David in? Maybe he was remembering that time where he made like a really bad decision and then like he had to make another bad decision, try and cover up the first bad decision, then another bad decision, and then oh my goodness, it was like hopping down the bunny trail of bad decisions. <sighs> maybe he was like in a pit where like maybe he had lied about something or like he was putting someone else in a dangerous position. <sighs> Stressful. But instead of becoming like distracted, oh my gosh, what a cute wall. So cute. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, being distracted.
distracted or like giving up. David put everything he had into worshiping God. <sighs> the best. He had felt God's love his whole life. Wow, awesome. Even when things were not going so well, <sighs> stress. I never gave up on David. <laughs> Yay. Sometimes we worship God by like singing songs and going to church, which is such a good idea. Yay. But sometimes we get distracted by other things and we forget why we're even singing. Oh, maybe David had been singing the song to help himself and everyone else remember why they were worshiping God in the first place. If you know anything about me, hi, Rebecca, rabbit, adventurer, explorer, yes. You know that I can forget a lot of things easily. Yeah, I get distracted really easy. Remember that bunny trail? It would have really come in handy if I had remembered that hiking the Grand Canyon would have required a lot of training beforehand. Yeah, it's big. Like, grand big. But that's all right. As long as I always remember who Jesus is to me and what Jesus has done in my life, and guess what? He continues to do. Yay, me. And even when I get distracted or... Forget distracted, or if I forget something, <sighs> worship is an awesome way to remind myself what matters most and that God is right with me. He's here with me all along. Thinking about what God has done in the past, wow, it could really help me to think about what God is doing right now and what God's going to do in the future as well. Yay, new times. <clears throat> we really don't know what's going to happen next. And we do know, though, we can, like, be certain and sure. And, like, as much as I know the Grand Canyon is grand and massive, I know that the same God that was there all the way in the past back for David is going to be right here with me now and in the future. Totes awesome, right? Yay! What are some things that you can remember, kind of like David was doing, that will help you hold on to Jesus Ooh, tightly? Even when, like, gives you reasons to let go. Kind of like if you had a balloon. Do not let go. Do not be like Elsa. Hold tight to it. Yes, I know who Elsa is. I'm a big fan. Ooh, practice hiking with me, okay? So we're going down the Grand Canyon. It's so hot. <sighs> we need to take a little break. Ooh, it's nighttime. Let's look up at the, the beautiful, beautiful night sky. Look at all of these beautiful stars shining so very brightly. It's kind of like you, a star shining brightly. I see a really big one. Oh, OMG, what is, oh, it's the big idea star. Did you know we had a big idea star today? Whoop, whoop. We can worship by remembering what God has done. Yay for us. Thing that I love about a place like the Grand Canyon is the different layers in the rock tell their own stories. And geologists, those are people that study like rocks, and they especially love places like the Grand Canyon, they estimate that there are over 40 different rock layers in the Grand Canyon. Today, we're going to be making a little layered project ourselves. And with each layer, I want you to remember the wonderful things that God has done. Maybe it is something from the Bible, like how... God provided food for people, how God protected people, how God sent his son Jesus to die on the cross for us and for everyone who accepts that gift of salvation. So God has worked in, in our lives, in every each and every one of us, in big ways and in small ways, and in some ways we might not even know just yet, and I love that. And much like the layers of the rocks that have formed over time, our lives are built in the same way layer and layer of all the different ways that God is with us and he's building us up to be his children, to be good listeners and to obey him and to be messengers for him. We have that messengers uh, series a while back where we talked about how we could be God's messengers, how the Bible tells us to go and make disciples of all the nations, that that's our great commission to go and share God's love. Okay, so let's get back to our layers of rock. What's something that you've seen God do for you, or maybe for a friend, or maybe somewhere in your family? So as you think about that, we're going to keep adding layers to our, I know it's upside down right now, and you're going to see why in just a second. We're going to keep adding layers to our little cross just like this. So I think this is red. 
I don't want to shake it too much once I get all the different colors in there because they'll blend together. I just want to shake it light green. Remember, each color is a different way of God doing big things and little things in our life. Oh, don't mix together too much. Let's see what this one is. Ooh, a little bit of brown. It's definitely looking like rocks. Do you see all those different layers? Okay, we're only four in. Are you thinking about things? Because I'm thinking about some pretty cool things that God has done for me. Oh, a little bit of blue. Oh, look at that mess. Hey, it settled down in there. Come on. Come on. Isn't this fascinating to watch? Okay, so I've got all the colors that I have, so I'm going to repeat those layers again because the Bible also tells us that God never leaves us or forsakes us. So even though we might have already been through a tough time, if we go through it again, God's right there with us. He is never going to leave us or forsake us. He's never going to make us handle it on our own. And the Bible tells us that he never gives us more than we can handle and that he gives us strength, that we don't do things on our own, that it's the strength of God within us. And he fills us up with love and kindness. i got to make sure I'm using the right colors. Okay, we're almost there. After brown was blue, and I think we'll finish it off with blue. Oh, what a beautiful color blue. All right, now, since I already said it was upside down, I'll show you what happens when I tap it off and twist it. Oh, I really love this one. It's going to go on the counter here up at church to help me remember all the ways, big and small, as big as the Grand Canyon and as small as this little cross right here, that God has taken care of me, and I can remember all of the ways that he's done that when I put this right there as a little reminder. other verses over in the book of Hebrews chapter 12 and we're going to read verses 28 and 29. Are you ready? Since we are receiving a kingdom that is unshakable, let us be thankful and please God by worshiping him with a holy fear and awe. For our God is a devouring fire. Now, when you hear, hear the word kingdom, you might be thinking of like, palaces and iron gates and towers and knights and princesses and things like that. And when you hear the phrase the kingdom of God, you might be thinking of heaven. But the kingdom of God in the Bible isn't just talking about an actual physical place. When Jesus brought the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of God to earth, there weren't castles and horses. Jesus brought this new way to live that pleases God. And the Bible tells us that God's kingdom is unshakable unshakable and immovable like a can of soda okay it's just sitting there and it's peaceful and refreshing and calm and soothing and you know maybe it gives you a little bit of life I can imagine you drinking this and oh it's gonna taste so good but in our life oof, there are lots of things that try and shake us up right? And some days we might be surrounded by this feeling of sadness and disappointment or frustration and anger and unkindness and injustices. You know what? I think, I think we need to demonstrate this. Um, come with me. Okay, where, where were we? Oh, yeah, we were talking about how we might be surrounded by sadness and disappointment, frustration, anger, fear, unkindness, and injustice. And that's a mess. And I'm so thankful that God's kingdom is unshakable because this is a royal mess. It's like a kingdom of a mess. But instead, I'm here with the kingdom of God that is immovable and unshakable. And here comes a motorcycle. <laughs> uh, we can feel safe and secure by the truth. There he goes. We don't have to live in a shaken up kingdom that's going to explode and be a mess all over us. We are safe and secure by the truth that we can worship by remembering what God has done for us. Now that we've made a royal mess, will you join me in a word of prayer as we close?
Heavenly Father, I thank you for the reminders today that you have always been with us, that we do not walk this path alone. In fact, you are the lamp that lights up our path and guides us as we move forward. Thank you for the reminders of the story. 